Hey, what's happening? This is Tom, NerdRemix.com. Um, I did a convention last weekend, Cinema Wasteland, and uh, one of the directors I shared a table with has a feature coming out in four or five parts, and I've been waiting a long time for it. It's got a really cool cast, a lot of cool people are involved with it, and it is called Postmortem America 2021 by a director and writer, Cameron Scott. Now, uh, Cam gave me a poster with a DVD, too. Paper Monique Bro. S B. Yeah. I even picked this one because she's hot and uh looking down a barrel of a gun, motherfuckers. Alright? Cool stuff. Oh, yeah. But anyway, I digress. Postmortem America twenty twenty one. Sorry I have one arm. Chapter one. It's about uh twenty six minutes long. You can get it on Cam's website, which is I believe uh PMA2021.com. If not, I'll check and uh, I'll have it on the bottom here, right there. So, anyway, this particular chapter of the saga uh, stars Linnea Quigley, all kinds of genre cred there. Uh, Jim O'Rear, who is fantastic in everything of his that I've seen so far. Uh, where's this guy been? Um, apparently, I'm just now noticing his work. This been working for a long time. Well, fuck it. He was great in Beverly Lane, and he's great in this. And then uh, it also contains, it has uh, Ed O'Rear, Ernie Getz, and Monique Dupree, who was one of the big surprises in this. Wow, she really showed some acting chops. I've met her, she's a very sweet person, but I've only seen limited amounts of her work. And wow, she really shines in this. So definitely check that out for you know, nothing else but that. But this uh, revolves around the, a man named Severn, who's played by uh, Jim O'Rear, a crime boss in the town of Lagos in uh, 2021, a post-apocalyptic uh, wasteland. Uh, the, the, this uh, particular chapter opens with uh, Edward X. Young as a creepy priest reading from the Bible, Book of Re Revelations, I believe. I don't know. I'd have to check it out. I've, re I've read it a few times. I understand much of it. Anyway, uh, spitting all over the place. Really cool effect walking through a deserted woods. It's kind of cool. I enjoyed it. Great way to open this, and bam. You get introduced to the characters. Uh, Severin has a problem. There's a old nemesis, and we really don't find out yet why uh, she's coming back and seeking revenge. But her name's Lucille, and she's played by Linnea quickly. So, and uh, it's been a while since I've seen any of her stuff, uh, except for that little cameo in um, Night of the Demons in the remake. But uh, yeah, Linnea is always welcome. And uh, Severin has a henchman or a henchwoman, as it were. Played by Monique Dupree, uh, they contact uh, through phone, and like I said, Monique really shows some presence and some chops. I can't wait to see uh, what else she does with this because uh, it's a good start, and uh, this is a good start to uh, this uh, series or, or uh, uh, collective film, whatever you want to call it. Speaking of the collective, uh, Cameron Scott also did one of the the better parts of uh, the collective. I think probably about the collective, maybe 70, 60, 70 percent of that worked, and uh, the rest of it kind of didn't. But Cam Scott's is one of the most serious and, and hard hitting, more uh, visceral punch type uh, stories in that. So, that I, naturally, I had high hopes for this. And uh, this is shot in black and white, too, which gives it a very marsh look. But uh, you can tell that, you know, there's there's a modern thing. A uh, few complaints. Uh, there was some CGI blood in a, in a scene with a drill. And I think it should have been mixed with some practical blood. And the lighting got kind of wonky there for a second. And one, uh, one of the scenes cut back and forth. It didn't match. Small, small ticks. But anyway, um, getting back to the story, uh, I'm intrigued. I don't know if it was originally set up as a cliff cliffhanger because it didn't end on much of a note to where you know dun dun, but uh, it definitely leaves you wanting more, and I want more. So you know that's a good thing. Obviously, mission accomplished. If that was the goal, and why wouldn't it be? Uh, so anyway, if you get a chance, go to Cam's site. Like I said, I'm, it should be at the beginning of this video. If it isn't, email me Tom at NerdRemix.com and say, hey, you dumb son of a bitch while you're trying to grow some hair and maybe not be such a pussy and have your arm in a sling, well, why don't you put that link in your damn video review? Promise me you'll do that if I forget to do it. Anyway, don't just randomly email me because you saw it. So, hey, let's you know, seriously. 
But uh, Postmortem America 2021, Chapter 20, Chapter 1, definitely check it out. Uh, Jim O'Rear's fantastic in it. Uh, Linnea Quigley's in it. Uh, Monique Dupree, fantastic in it. And uh, it leaves you wanting more. It leaves you wanting to see the rest of the saga. I'm going to hold judgment on the whole thing and rate it as a whole. But for this segment, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Just because it shows potential. And it leaves me wanting more. And uh, check it out. Postmortem America 2021. I'm Tom, nerdremix.com. Support independent cinema. Thanks.